I have the distinct joy and pleasure of introducing someone who's been motivating people to the top their entire career. She's the number one sales director at this seminar. This director has achieved 12 appearances every year as a director in the unit circles, and this year in the highest, the $1 million circle. She has been queen of this seminar two times, and this year she is the number three sales director nationwide. She has earned five top sales director trips and two prestige trips. And her highest monthly commission is over $30,000. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my joy and my distinct pleasure to welcome senior sales director Vicki Piccarelli. Oh, good morning, Sapphire Seminar. Has this not been the most incredible seminar ever? Wow. Stand up and cheer if this is your first seminar ever. Wow. Well, welcome to the Mary Kay Sisterhood and get ready for the best years of your life. I know that starting my Mary Kay business 13 and a half years ago was the best decision I have ever made. And I pray that you take advantage of all that Mary Kay has to offer so that you feel the same way. I am so honored and humbled to stand before you representing these women, the Piccarelli Pearls of Promise, the number one unit at the Sapphire Seminar, and the number three unit nationwide. <laughs> Piccarelli Pearls, please stand and receive the recognition that you so deserve. <laughs> Love you. This was our first year achieving the million dollar circle of excellence, and I am blown away every day by these women. Their commitment to God, their families, each other, me, and running their businesses with excellence inspires me on a daily basis. Ladies, thank you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for sharing your lives with me and trusting me with your dreams. You challenge me to stretch and to grow and to become all that God has tended me to be so that I can lead you well. These women each have their own stories and have had to overcome overwhelming obstacles to be where they are today. And I could not be more proud of them, not only for what they have done, but for who they have become in the process. Congratulations, ladies. Well, I honestly feel like I have to pinch myself standing here because it feels like yesterday that I was introduced to the Mary Kay opportunity. It's amazing how quickly 13 and a half years can go by. I was a simple stay-at-home mom struggling to raise my rambunctious boys who were two and four at the time. I had gone to University of South Florida on scholarship and received a biology degree, thoroughly expecting to go on to medical school and become a doctor. However, after working for two doctors, I decided that I did not want that life. I married Robert, who is my high school sweetheart. And after college, we married, and then we had Charlie and Robbie. I loved the freedom that I had as a stay-at-home mom. But financially, we were having trouble making ends meet. And to be honest, I was desperately unfulfilled. I knew I needed something more in my life when my other mom friends began comparing how quickly their, their children could get potty trained and learn their ABCs. Well, I was never going to win that race because most of them had girls 
And let's be real. Boys don't really mind being dirty or smelly. And who needs to master the alphabet when you can communicate just fine in movie quotes? Anyway, one of my neighbors asked me to host a Mary Kay party. And two weeks later, I had six friends and family sitting around my kitchen table when my neighbor and her director, Kathy Littlejohn, walked into my house. Although Kathy was super nice and extremely professional, I secretly felt sorry for her because I thought Mary Kay made her drive a pink Cadillac everywhere she went. <laughs> I had all the negative stereotypes about direct selling and Mary Kay, and I hated the color pink. So I would never have considered this business. But when we tried the products, and I fell absolutely in love with the science behind them, while my guests fell in love with the look and feel of their skin, they wanted everything. Now, I'm not stupid. I saw a business sitting right at my kitchen table. So I signed my agreement on the spot, and my Mary Kay journey began. I dealt with all the same fears and insecurities that any new consultants have. And my mind seemed to waffle on a daily basis between quitting and becoming a Mary Kay superstar. So I just focused on what I was responsible for, praying like everything depended on God and working like everything depended on me, which meant booking and holding skincare classes. I know that sounds easier than it is, but God found a way, he has a way of taking our natural and putting his super on it when we don't give up. My first goal was to make $400 a month so we could afford to put Charlie in private Christian school. A year after I started, I earned my first Mary Kay career car and returned to seminar as a new independent sales director. <laughs> I still didn't feel like I knew what I was doing, but I just kept holding parties and teaching my consultants to do the same. We are in the top sales director trip our first full year as a unit. And my, yes, and my Mary Kay business has been a six-figure income since. I've come a long way from that shy, insecure, unfulfilled, lost, and broke stay-at-home mom. And as I reflect on my journey thus far, I realize that the biggest transformation hasn't been in my bank account or even in my home. It's been on the inside of me. I wanna tell you about an experience I had this last year on the top sales director trip to Venice and Rome. We had a day trip to Florence, which is this beautiful, quaint little city that boasts an explosion of art history and stunning architecture. While in Florence, we had a tour of the Academia which is the museum that houses Michelangelo's famous David. Unfortunately, I've never had a great appreciation of art since I'm not particularly creative or artistic, so I didn't expect to be especially moved by another museum full of statues made hundreds of years ago. However, as I turned the corner and looked down the corridor to this well-lit circular area where David stood, my mouth literally dropped open as I gasped out loud. There David stood at the other end of the room in all his beauty and glory, and I was utterly stunned. On either side of the corridor leading up to David, there are a collection of Michelangelo's unfinished statues. They're known as the prisoners or captives. These statues are only partially carved, and therefore their forms look like they are struggling to get themselves out from the bondage of the marble. It's as if the marble is holding their full and complete form captive. It's said that Michelangelo believed that sculptors were merely a tool of God, not creating, but simply revealing 
the powerful and beautiful figures already contained in the marble. Michelangelo had this gift where he would look at a solid block of marble and he would see the finished statue before he even started. Then he would chip away and remove everything that wasn't supposed to be there to reveal the perfect form as it was always meant to be. I studied the prisoners for what seemed like hours as I slowly approached the magnificence of David. And by the time I got to this 14-foot work of art, the full appreciation of his perfection and freedom hit me like a ton of bricks. As tears rolled down my face, I marveled at every perfect detail, realizing the amount of chiseling that had to occur from the original piece of marble to what was now displayed. David, too, had to go through a period of time where he was unfinished, seemingly less than perfect. However, his glorious form was always there, simply waiting to be revealed. You see, I think we are all spectacular works of art that simply need to be uncovered. The more we surrender to the chiseling process, the more our perfection is revealed. As I've walked out my Mary Kay journey, I've allowed God to chip away hurts, lies, deeply wounding experiences. He's chipped away anger, impatience, hatred, negativity, blame, guilt, shame, whining, complaining, so many other pieces of marble that only cover my true beautiful form, the wonderfully made creation that God sees all the time. I feel that God has blessed me and given me the same gift that he gave Michelangelo. When I look into my consultants' faces and I listen to their dreams as well as their hurts, I'm blessed to see their, their perfect form underneath all the baggage and insecurities. I feel it's my job to aid in God's process by encouraging them to allow him to chisel and chip away as I describe to them the perfectly glorious form that I see under it all. I remind them of their purpose and their gifts, and I breathe belief into them relentlessly, not only about what they can do, but who they are. So many simultaneously feel that they are too much and not enough. Too loud, too quiet, too tall, too short, too bold, too nice, too harsh. And at the same time, not outgoing enough, not patient enough, not bold enough, not strong enough, not pretty enough, not a good enough leader. You name it, we've all heard it and said it to ourselves. A constant barrage of lies, lies that leave us feeling not enough and too much at the same time. When the truth is that under all of this inadequacy, baggage or marble is the most magnificent, beautiful, perfect, and special you. There's a famous quote by St. Irenaeus that says, the glory of God is man fully alive. So my question to you, as you go home and re-enter normal life, it is what is holding you back from being fully alive? Are you willing to allow God to use your Mary Kay journey to chip away, to chisel, to mold, and to shape you, 
to give you freedom to be who he's already created you to be. Our job is to remind ourselves and each other that we are beautiful works of art and we are neither too much nor not enough. In fact, we are more than enough, or for short, MTE, as my future national area is called. The more than enough national area, as we have more than enough love, abundance, grace, prosperity, integrity, and work ethic, faith and gratitude, and it all flows generously into the lives of our families, our customers, our team members, churches, and communities. This year, I got to experience more than enough production pour in as we wrapped up our first million dollar year, just after 9 p.m. on June 29th, and then went on to finish our month with $97,399, so over a million 36,000. That was more than enough, wouldn't you say? I couldn't stop taking pictures of the screen, directors, you can understand, when it says 97,399, feeling as if, as if I must be experiencing a dream. Eight women in my future area achieving the Queen's Court of Sales, seven of them, of them in my unit at some time this year. Seven women, yes, I said seven women currently on target for their cars. Yeah. A new offspring sales director, Barb, and a DIQ, Rachel. What has Mary Kay given me? Private Christian school for my boys and then the freedom to homeschool them. Financial relief, stability, extra, more than enough. A home full of love, peace, joy, travel experiences all across the world. 50 plus carrots and diamonds. Unbelievable paychecks and deep, authentic relationships. But the greatest gift I've received from Mary Kay has been an environment where my true identity could be revealed like that of Michelangelo's works of art. My Mary Kay journey has revealed how capable, special, unique, and purposeful I have been created to be. You may call it self-confidence, but I call it God-confidence because it's rooted in who I am in Christ. Not what my circumstances, title, position, success, money, or other people may be telling me that I am. My challenge to you is to come back next seminar Come back next seminar with more than enough freedom, more than enough God confidence, more than enough financial abundance, and more than enough women that you have passed it on to. Have the most freeing, abundant, prosperous, and joy-filled seminar year. I love you, Sapphire Seminar. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a standing ovation to your number one sales director, independent senior sales director, Vicki Piccarilli.